Welcome to Friday Night Chats with Garage Geek. I hope everyone had a great week. As you can see, I'm not in my garage. I'm in my living room. I have all my dogs and my cats in my living room and I put on the AC because we're having a, a heat wave in Los Angeles. And I mean, it's like, it's really hot. I really don't have a lot to chat about this week, you know, cause I was, um, I was sick and I, I still am a bit. I'm not coughing like I was but um, I'm still having a, a, you know, a little bit of trouble being, you know, all, all my energy back. I have some movies and a couple shows. Uh, I, I wanna talk about a trip I made, a very short trip, but I wanna go ahead and talk about some of the, the people who were nominated for the Comic Awards. And uh, there were a lot of them, of course, I'm not gonna mention all of them, but all sorts of words, Mon Comics, Lettuce Comics, uh, still, only 35 cents and i must have forgotten to write down hall yeah comics because of course you know i'm really rooting for him i also want to give a special shout out to sleepy reader who is also nominated i really really hope that he wins that award sorry this ipad is so bright on my face so i went to uh, palm springs last weekend just for one day uh even though i was sick and i was still coughing everywhere i thought the sun might do me good and i actually did I tried so much to stay out of the sun uh, but just going from the pool because I was in a shaded part of the pool to uh, the table where uh, we were sitting just those little trips I got a, like a sunburn on my shoulder so but it was good I still uh, it wasn't a horrible sunburn but I just I just burn all the time and so um, I have a couple of pictures from when I was in uh, Palm Springs so here's an example of some of the landscape now this is called ship rock and then you could see the other uh, like kind of rock formations behind it. but this rock ship rock is um, like a strange formation for Palm Springs and they, they have like a, a plaque there and a dedication or not a dedication, just an explanation of it. But the, the crazy thing was I wasn't going to stop at Ship Rock. I was going to stop at this other place. But I was, as I was going along the highway, I saw it. And so I immediately like did a U-turn and came back. And it was difficult because when I did a U-turn, it was still going this way, coming this way. And just a little bit and you know I had to wait for cars to come and then I had to book it over but there was a drop from the the highway onto the like the real the sandy patch where I could park and I've got a small car a Prius and I was so scared that I was gonna go down and then you know I'd be stuck in the sand and so I parked and I'm you know I, I walked around the rock, rock a little bit took some pictures and then getting out there was the sandy part that was kind of up so I could get back on the freeway. But you know, cars are going by really fast. And so I go into the sandy part, and of course with my little car, like my, my tires got uh, stuck. And so, but finally I was able to get off. But I, you know, sometimes having a little car can be a drag. Palm Springs and, and everywhere around it, it's just gorgeous. But man, was it hot, it was so hot. But look at the skies you get in Palm Springs, I mean, so gorgeous there. So one thing that I wanted to see was I wanted to see this a spider. And so there's a spider uh, in this abandoned um, metalworks car uh, place. And this is actually private property. And so the app that I use, which is um, Atlas Obscura, when I went on the app, um, they say, hey, you have to park in the jack in the box. So I, I'm, I was like looking for this. And I, I pull into the place next to the Jack in the Box, and I, and there was this guy walking by. I was like, "Hey, do you know? Uh, do you know where the giant spider is?" And he was like a trucker from El uh, Arkansas or something. And he started talking in his. Oh no, he said he was from Kentucky, and he was like, "I don't know where that is. I just pulled in." <laughs> it was really funny. Um, I love accents. So I was like, oh, thank you. I, but I'm not, I know it's around here somewhere. So I drove around like in the kind of a little block in that area and I, I found the Jack in the Box. And then you have to park in the Jack in the Box and then there's a fence and you kind of go around and then you can, you can see this. But it is private property, but I went on it anyway. It wasn't too difficult. Now the, the spider is actually made out of a, out of a car and it's, uh, it's really neat right? For just a, a, a sculpture there. Let's see if I have it. 
yeah, like uh, I showed that picture already, but yeah, it was it was it was pretty neat. So I went looking for that. I found it. I stayed at like uh, this resort where it had a pool, and you could see like uh, of the mist from the misters because it was so hot. And then on the way home, I mean, I had a great time in Palm Springs. I love going to Palm Springs. It's so it's so pretty there. On the way home, there's this uh, stop where they have these two giant dinosaurs, and every time I stop, it's in Cabezon. And um, there's one of the dinosaurs, and the this is the other one, and yeah, they're just they're just fun. I don't know why. I just always stop and I take pictures, and I have a million pictures of them. And it's like every time I stop, I take more. So I don't know why I take more, but I'm like, yeah, I, I want to see the dinosaurs. So it it was I guess it was built in the fifties as like a roadside attraction so you know people would stop to buy gas so they would want to go see the dinosaurs there's even a shop inside of the this dinosaur i believe yeah you can go up in this dinosaur and you can buy stuff and i've been inside it and i've bought things and i believe the people who own them are flat earthers and you can see all kinds of uh things related to flat earth uh, believers inside the shop. It's, uh, I just think that's kind of weird and interesting. Some, uh, the movies that I watched. I watched, oh, I want to, uh, I want to remind you that tomorrow I am going to do my Fabulous Four, and we're going to be talking about, uh, Spock Must Die, uh, Captain America's Winter Soldier, The Seventh Seal by Ingmar Bergman, and, oh, The Pipes of Peace by Paul McCartney. Right, so that's tomorrow if you can watch it or watch it on reruns. So I watched the new Quiet Place day one and I, I really enjoyed it. So I, I don't think it's as good as the other ones, but it's certainly not bad. I think they took a little bit of a cheat, right? Because it's supposed to be what happens on day one and they start to show what happens on day one, but then the main character gets knocked out and you kind of wake up later. So I thought that was a little bit of a cheat, right? Because they should be showing everything that happens on day one. But uh, it was it was fun. I, I would recommend it, especially if you can, you know, you haven't seen it at the theater already and you're gonna watch it on cable. It's definitely worth watching. I, we finished the show, The Connors. So this is the Roseanne spinoff from later when the when the children are married. And the funny thing is we, we've never watched all of Roseanne. We watched, um, in fact, we're going back and we're starting to watch Roseanne now. More on that in a minute. And so we're um, we're watching the show. Uh, we finished the the Connors, the five season. I'm and you know I'm not a big comedy person, but I really uh, enjoyed uh, this sitcom, Five Seasons, and it did inspire me, um, and both of us, to go back and start uh, watching Roseanne. With that, my husband was like, "Has Roseanne ever been in any movies?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, I know of one she's been in. She was in She Devil." And so it's on Tubi, so we went ahead and watched it. And I actually saw this when it came out of the movie theater, and I hadn't seen it since. And I really enjoyed it. Um, so we got Meryl Streep. She's excellent in this role. And I think Roseanne Barr is really good. And, and of course, the, the male uh, person in the movie, the male person, the, the male lead is Ed Begley Jr. But it really is... Meryl Streep's and Roseanne Barr's movie. I um I enjoyed it, and my husband did too. Uh, it is a product of his time, but it's still a lot of fun. So uh, if you have Tubi and you want to watch something fun, you could watch She Devil. Here's a uh, another <laughs> promo from that movie. Oh, here's the the thumbnail for the Fabulous Four that's going to be going on tomorrow. So what other movies did I watch? Okay, so we watched this movie called The Watchers. Let me find it. There it is, Watchers. So this was just a new horror movie that was on uh, cable. So we went ahead and, and watched it. It stars, oh, I forget, a, a child actress who's now, you know, uh, uh, an adult. And I forget what she starred in. Uh, but anyways, it's, it, it had a really interesting premise, and I, I mean, I'm going to say that I enjoyed the movie for the most part, up until the end. The end was getting a little uh, tiresome, uh, but just, you know, because it, I think the premise was a lot better than the actual 
execution in the end. So I would say that this is definitely um, worth watching unless you're someone who needs a really, really strong ending. Another movie that I watched was because of the Fabulous Four and the um, the movie The Seventh Seal, because of course the lead character plays chess with death. Uh, my friend in uh, Iowa, she was saying, you gotta watch Bill and Ted, Ted's uh, movie where they play, uh, they, they, they play games with death. And so I was like, okay. So I didn't know, I didn't remember which movie it was in. In fact, I had only seen the first one and I never saw the second one. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and watch it. So I went ahead and watched the first movie, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And it's a comedy, it's silly. Uh, it's a product of its time. It was an okay movie. I, I just, this is not the kind of movie that I like, but it was fun, you know, to see, you know, Keanu Reeves so young and, um, even George Carlin, uh, and it was just silly. So, but you know, silly fun. And then I, we watched Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And this is the one where they, um, where they play chess with death. And I'm gonna have to say this movie was just awful. I just wanted to turn it off, but we got through it. It has some nice special effects. You could tell that their budget like quadrupled for this movie. They had these uh, really great set pieces, um, a lot more actors, more makeup, more special effects but it just ended up where more was definitely a lot less. I did not enjoy this movie at all and I couldn't wait for it to be done. Um, I think it's because I don't like comedy. I think a lot of people really like this movie, but not me. I couldn't wait for it to be over with. And despite that, <coughs> excuse me, despite that, there is a third more uh, modern movie, but it's not available uh, for streaming. I would like to watch it just since I watched the other two. I would like to see the modern, uh, you know, um, incarnation of Bill and Ted. Uh, but yeah, I think those are all the movies that I watched. And yeah, like I said, I really don't have a lot to share in my um, my Friday night chat this week. It's only been it's an only 15 minutes, but I do hope that I will see uh, most of you. Uh, tomorrow for my fabulous four and hopefully next week um, I'll oh I, I should say that you know normally I have a couple books to report on um, and the problem with that is I am listening to a book but it's 30 hours long and it's really really good and I can't wait to report on it but I'm I'm 23 hours into it and I still have seven hours left. And this is actually, uh, I've actually been on it two weeks because I've been taking little breaks because, you know, of my, my illness. Sometimes when I'm driving home, I don't feel like listening to it. I just put on some music instead, which is unlike me. Normally, I just always listen when I'm in the car. And so I really wanted to finish it for today so that I could go over it. Um, but I still have seven hours left. And so I'm definitely going to be finishing it at the beginning of next week. So then I could talk about it. But it's called Love Songs of Webb Dubois, W.B. Dubois. And like I said, I'm really enjoying it. So um, I'll definitely be able to talk about that next week. But like I said, I'm done and I don't want to just ramble anymore. And I want to thank all of you for the support. I know my, my show today isn't very long. It's probably not even very entertaining, but um, any comments uh, would certainly be appreciated. <laughs>